So, what I want to show you this morning is iron supplement to our system here at the James Project. This is the bag I buy. I buy this locally at a ag store right here in Monhas. I don't know if you can see the composition, but the composition is 6.4% nitrogen, 13% iron, some amino acids, looks like it says 40% amino acids, and then 40% inert. Um, this is the closest thing I can find to get, uh, oh, chelated iron. And I believe it is chelated iron. It doesn't say it anywhere on the, anywhere on the bag or in, in the directions on the back. But it, uh, has a similar composition to chelated iron that you can see in the States. So, and it works. So I use it. So what you need to do whenever you're adding your iron, first know that you need to add iron. The first thing you need to do is test your pH. I've got my water samples here. Uh, it's full, but I wanted to show you a simple little trick. Just flick it like this until you get it down to that line right there, okay? Do your pH test. I'm not gonna go into depth on how to do these tests because you need to read the directions and follow the directions to a T. Mix, okay. Vial goes against the paper to read it. It does make a difference if the vial is touching it or away. Um, good lighting against the paper and check it out. So my pH right now is sitting at about, I'd say 6.6. .6. I'll let you check it out. Okay, 6.6. .6. Now, the reason that you need to check your pH before adding iron is if your plants are telling you you have iron deficiency, it could be a pH uh, issue. It could be that the pH is too high and the iron is in the system but it's not available. So if your pH is, I don't know, I'm not an expert in that, but maybe 7.2 or higher, then I would work on getting that pH down closer to 6.6, 6.8. Uh, and make sure that that uh, your plants are still iron deficient with the proper pH. The second thing is you need to make sure there's nitrogen in the system because iron deficiency iron deficiency looks like nitrogen deficiency. Okay, so I've got my nitrate test. It's a two bottle test. I'm not going to go into depth on this, but this is a very sensitive test. Follow the directions to a T. I'm going to go ahead and do this. It takes about six and a half minutes to do. And so I'm gonna go ahead and test for that right now. While the nitrogen, or I should say the nitrate test, is working and going through its five minute wait time, um, I will show you the nitrogen, de nitrogen deficiencies in some of the plants. So this is basil. And you can see the yellow in between the veins. Okay. Come over here to mint. Mint seems to be nitrogen hungry. You can see the yellow in between those veins really well. Okay. And so the thing with the yellow in the veins, that's a sign of nitrogen deficiency, also a sign of iron deficiency, okay? So we're testing our nitrates to see if we have the nitrogen in the system. We've tested our pH to see if our pH is good. Our pH is good. And so if we have nitrates, we know we need to add iron because we've got nitrogen, we've got the right pH, so the iron's available, and then we'll add iron. So we've done the nitrate test, let it sit for five minutes, and the nitrate is this far column right here. I don't like really to focus, but that nitrate column, uh, here's our vial, hold it up against the paper. Let's see where we're at. I would say we are probably at 80, maybe, maybe 90 or 100, slightly over 80 possibly. And so what that tells me is with the nitrate, 
If you're at zero, your plants probably are, are needing more nitrate. It's not likely that they're, they're using the exact amount that's being produced and there's you know, a perfect balance. It's likely that they need more nitrate. I like to put the night I like to try to keep the nitrates between five and twenty. I say orange is good, red is bad because I've had nitrates up to that 160 and beyond mark, that 160 ppm, and I've had fish deaths. Also, if you have too much of one nutrient, uh, it could prevent other nutrients being available to the plants. The reason I, I've, it's high right now is because I've got too many fish in the system. The reason I have too many fish is because I haven't been able to get fish into the pond because it's dry season and the pond is already low. There's already too many fish in the pond. We can't just eat 30 fish and feed everybody. Uh, so so it's, it's, it's kind of a difficult spot. Here, here in a few, few more weeks, hopefully, we'll be getting that rain and we'll be able to pull out. I would suggest pulling out. There's probably 250, 300 fish in there. I'd probably pull out 50 fish and then wait a few days, watch your nitrates, see what happens, and, and try to get those nitrates to the 5 to 20 mark in, in the orange in here. Back to the iron is nitrates, we've got them. That's good. pH, we've got it. It's good. Time to add the uh, iron. Chelated iron. Okay. So I've got this bucket here. It's about halfway full of water. Water first is important. Um, this bag, I like to do it over three days, one third of the bag per day. I've done it where I've done the whole bag in the system, boom, and, and done it and everything's been okay. The fish were fine, the plants were fine, everything was fine. The water was murky with the iron color. Um, I just like to add it in a little bit over time and not all at once. So. I'm gonna open this up. Okay, and I'm just gonna kinda feel, not a real big deal, about a third. Normally, I wear an air mask. So I don't like breathing this. But I realize I can't talk with that mask on. So, there's your iron right there in the bucket. We need to stir it. You got a real high tech stir stick right here. Helps mix it real good. Give it a good stir. Thing is about this iron is it likes to bubble and so I don't recommend spraying on the top with your hose immediately because it bubbles so crazy. So I'm gonna get this good and mixed up. Okay, so I filled the bucket up more with, with more water after I got the iron good mixed up with about half, uh, half water. Mixed it real well, filled it up. So I've got five gallons of water and iron here. Here is our bell siphon, our, our uh, siphon at the end of the media bed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out the standpipe and then pour the iron into here. The reason I pour it into there is because it goes from the, this bell siphon into these next three beds, right? And so these three beds, the water has to move all the way down to the end of these beds before it gets circulated back to the fish tank. So it's, it's my easiest entry point that's furthest from the fish tank. So tomorrow I will do the exact same thing with one more third of the bag. And then the next day, I'll do the exact same thing with the last third of the bag. Okay. Now, when do you need to add more? Well, your plants tell you, right? Whenever you see that chlorosis, make sure your pH isn't high. Make sure you've got nitrates. And then you know you need to add iron. Um, for this system, like I said, I think about every three weeks is ideal is best. But it's, you know, it's, 100, it's 105 Q, Casale is a bag. And so... Um, I don't know, that's about $15 or so. And uh, just, just another expense. And so I try to stretch it to four, four weeks. So hope you learned something about adding iron to the system.